Hey guys, this is Teleth and I don't understand what Cog thinks when they make their characters. This, I just don't understand it. There's a lot of problems with this for me, and I am not sure I can get over it, to be honest. Because when I tried Asian out, I actually really liked this place out, but I come here and I finally like took the time to read through each and every one of these things, and I'm just, I'm mad again. I don't get what they're trying to do. First of all, this. I I'm sorry. You're going to just refill my MP completely while I'm invincible for no reason. So, if I kill someone, I get a free three bars of MP. If I need MP to counter an impending three bar, I can just toss this out there. Even if they're waiting to kill me afterwards, I can just counter out because now I've got, woo, three bars of MP. That's just... Why can't my knight do this exactly? Why, why is my knight not allowed to just, yay, have specials everywhere? This is this is the kind of thing I hate. It's like druids, um, free res. Those that's not the way to make a class. That doesn't belong in this type of PvP. Um, but I can live with that. That is gonna be you know this class's gay little thing like geese's re regeneration. Or is it called repair? I think it's called repair. And um, strikers everything. So that'll just be this class's gay thing. You don't even get it till 72. It's not something you'll have to deal with. So, um, speaking of things we do have to deal with, uh, if I wanted to play a Asian, I would have to level him to 44 before I would be content with this class. Why do I have to level this character to play him? I did not have to level my knight to play knight. I did not have to level any of the first 40 odd classes in order to play them. If I don't get this idea that Cog has, this is not World of Warcraft, this is not Rift, or I don't even know, other, other games as well similar to those. Why do I have to level my character up in order to access my class's abilities? That's not that's not right. Um, I don't actually know what these do yet. Uh, they kind of scare me though, especially this one. Fulfill special conditions to unleash a hidden attack. Uh, is this another one of those Rin bullshit moves? Anyways, um, so when all this stuff is activated, I like playing Asian. What he feels like to me is like a traditional fighting game, you know, a two-dimensional fighting game type of character put into Grand Chase, and I think it's put in successfully. I I mean, you should take everything I say with a grain of salt, because when I see something new that I like, I make very hasty decisions about it. I announced that Geese was pretty awesome when it came out. Well, <laughs> look where we are now. So um, to be a little careful with that. But I don't know if anybody has ever seen the Brawl mod, the Super Smash Bros. Brawl mod, Project Melee. What they uh, did is they are trying to mod all the new Brawl characters and Brawl playing style to match a more Melee-ish um, kind of game engine. Because if you're a, any kind of competitive player, if you like those types of games, it's indisputable that Melee is superior to Brawl. And though Brawl has a ton of cool stuff in it, especially the new characters. Anyways, in this mod, they modded Lucario to be something like like how I feel Asian looks like. It's like a fighting game type of character. It's got lots of quick, applicable combos to a game which usually doesn't support that type of playstyle. But I feel like it works here, especially once you have all of these things. You have a ton of options every time you do a basic combo. Uh, the basic combo is reliable. Um, appears to do decent damage. I can't really tell damage in the practice mode. I've never been good at measuring that. I'll have to try it out in PvP. But appears to do decent damage and then has a ton of it just has a ton of options after every combo. I can go up, I can um, go back, I can disengage whenever I need to. That's actually really cool. I like that one. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. But um you know all these things work really well. And I, I feel like it's totally fine. So why can't I have this as MP? Why can I not just have this as a class? I would be very happy with it. I wouldn't need all of this crap and all of this crap in order to play the class. Why? Why? <laughs> what about um, what about this? Increased attack or increased speed? That's a totally fine addition to a class. Just you know that that that'll be like one of their gimmicks. Kind of like um. You know how everything on PK is a gimmick? Yeah, like that. Like rage. Like um the gunslinger cooldown bar, like, yeah, I like uh, Jin's Fury, or I don't know the difference between them all, to be honest. But why can't I just tap XX to use this? That's what I do with my Jin when I want to use my Fury, or when I want to throw my uh, 
um, bow staff on Osura. Why can't I? Why can't I just tap XX for this? Why do I have to have this up on an ASDFG thing along with these specials that I'm using with MP? It it doesn't make any sense to me. This is a perfect MP class that has been dissected into all of these different parts on these two pages and turned into AP and is well. I was gonna say worse off for it, but I. I feel like I need to do the class the justice of looking at it, assuming that I had actually leveled him all the way to 44, and that I was playing him as MP. So, looking at it completely from there, I think I'm okay with it. This is a class I would not mind fighting against. He's got this MP increase thing, I don't know why. I don't know why they feel the need to do this, I don't even know what these are yet. Um... What is this like? It just lets you lose, learn more skills, I guess. We're back over here. I guess I'm fine with that. I guess I'm fine with all these stat boosts. Well, I'm not, but I can live with them. I can tolerate them. You know, the stat boosts, it's not like... Look, I'm all for character development. I'm all for rewarding a player for taking the time to level and use their character. But this is not the way to do it. You don't... You don't take a character and break them into a million different little bricks and then have me build them from the ground up. That's not that's not the way to do it. Um, I should be able to use everything in this character from the beginning. What should happen as the character levels up is they should get new jobs. You know, a second, a third, and a fourth job. That's the type of reward for playing a character. They get new armor with new looks and styles. Uh, I don't know if anyone's noticed that they pretty much have stopped making new helms. Most of the helm helms for the, any of the AP characters look almost exactly the same. Very, very small differences. Whereas you go look at you go look at LSC, and she's got a multitude of different types of styles and armor, and that's not even counting the. I mean, it's probably three times as many as there are in the store right now if you count everything that was back in S2 and leading up to this. All the drops, all the stuff that was in the store, Doctor Capsule everything and she had just tons of stuff and they were all unique and they were all different and the same is true for all of the older classes um, and so it's really irritating to me to see them slack off in that in favor of well this I'm, I'm not okay with it um, okay so I need to look at it as a class I think it's fine I really like his specials um, I like his playstyle um, Playing it as MP versus AP. See, this is this is where I start feeling that this is why I believe Cog does not know what they've got in this game. That they don't see it for the um, PvP game that it really is. Um, they seem to think of AP as only a different style of controls. Um, one thing I did notice is that if you use an AP skill and then use an MP skill, the cooldown is not shared. So they have noticed the distinction, at least I believe this is what it means, that they have noticed the advantage given by the, um, that exists when you allow someone to just instantly special. Which is, which is good. Um, that is a major problem, but they're missing the, you know, other problems as well. Like, this whole character development thing is not, it's not what this game is for. Um, PvP game, I mean, I used to be able to, I remember when the Grand Chase Call of Steam came out. We actually had that for a month, I think, um, on an AGC. And uh, I made an alternate account just for giggles and got on there. Oh, shoot. How did this go? Oh, uh, this is when stats... No, was it? I don't remember. I used to make... I don't know if it was Coliseum or not, actually. I used to make alternate accounts all the time and just go in there with whatever class I wanted to play at the time and just wreck people despite my lower stats because I could. But, you know, I mean... That was the event. I could pick up a new class or a new care, a new account, excuse me, and um, I could just go in and play with it. I didn't need to level it forever to even begin to experience it in the environment that this game really excels at, which is a PvP. I just I I don't get why they have taken this route. You need to level this thing to 45 before you can play it. That is the message I am getting from this type of class. You can deny me little perks like, um, let's see, what do they have? MP up, um, cooldown recovery, um, this thing, 
I don't know why that's so high up there. It sucks. Um, and all this crap. You can deny that to me um, at the beginning. You can make me work to level that. But don't actually deny me core parts of a class until I've leveled up. Why? I don't understand that. I'm not allowed to play it until I level it. That's that's what I'm getting out of it, and that's uh, really not true for poor, um, well, not poor, very lucky for Knight. I don't need to go level this class to play it. It's just a complete class. It's given to me. Um, why didn't they do this with PK? PK was the one with 30 billion different little tricks he could do, or geese. But no, they take a class like this, which really doesn't have that many, and they say, ha-ha, you can't use any of this. Go play our dungeons. Go play our boring dungeons. This is our method of making you play it. Not exciting rewards or fun gameplay. You know, like like we used to have. Now it's just tanks of HP and and grinding and no exciting drops. So I'm not I'm not happy with the choices they chose to make here. Um, okay, so looking at the class itself, I really like it. I like the playstyle. I like how the, all the specials um, balance out with each other. I love his first bar. It's consistent, it's precise, and it matches the playstyle of the class. You can use it a lot, but it's also not, you know, it's not Geese's free launch into a ridiculously damaging combo. I can do all sorts of things with it, but, you know, only if I'm prepared to. I do like his two bar. It's a pretty... Uh, not gonna swear here, but it's a pretty awesome two bar. It's just fun to hit people with, and it's multiple hits counter it. You know, there's the advan the option of falling out of it like that, and the three bar is a three bar, very three bar ish. So all that stuff works fine. And once you have all of the AP stuff for your um, class, it's it's really fun to play. Like I could see myself playing this a lot. This is the type of focused. Um, small scale class I could get into and I really like the combo style of play I don't know I never really considered myself a fighting game player but I don't know if they were all like this I could get into it so um, all said and done I guess it's fine like would it be allowed into um, GWC rooms would I allow it into mine I don't know yet it really depends on the impact that whoops that these things have, that all this stuff has. I don't entirely understand what they mean. Um, I don't mind the attack buff. I don't mind the speed buff. Oh, you can have both. I didn't even notice that. That's kind of cool. Um, but, like, it meant, depends on what this stuff does. Just increases special attack stats. Uh, reduces the amount of MP consumed for a special what? Okay, maybe not. I didn't even read that one. What does that even look like? Is that the four bars thing? That I saw on a video? I don't understand. Is that an AP only thing? I know one bar like... Uh, I'm not even sure it's on. I don't understand. Okay, never mind about that then. Um, I don't know, stuff like this, like, this isn't a big deal in PvP. It was really cool for dungeons, I'm glad that they gave it to him. But it's not a big deal, so I wouldn't be bothered by that. Um, this isn't really any different either. It would, if this were a regular class, then the, the time limit of the time uh, length of those buffs would already be this, this whatever this size is. Um, okay, I don't like this. Uh huh. See, it's this kind of stuff. It just looks. It's not. Can we just disable this tab for PvP? Since this is clearly all stat based and all MP and, you know, it's messing with the core mechanics of the game. It's inherently making this character superior to other characters. Like, I don't know what this does. Uh, let's find out. Do I just activate them both, I guess? Like, why not, why not, why doesn't every SD have a tab like that? Why doesn't every AP class have a tab like that? And then just none of that stuff works in PvP. Because none of it's necessary. So, F, G. Increased critical strike chance? Oh, come on! I know it's only for a minute, but that's not... 
yeah, just disable this whole tab. This whole tab. Nothing on here, not here, here, is necessary for PvP. Nothing on here has any part of it. Just get rid of it. When you want to walk into PvP, nothing on this tab works. And we just have this, and I would be okay with that. I would be okay with it. People who like the AP style can just press ASDFG for their skills, and I'll be holding down my MP for mine. It would not be a problem. I mean, giving the cooldowns um, as punishment for using the quick um, hotkey, that's fine. I actually don't mind that idea at all. I don't even mind this anymore. This quiet repose bullcrap. Okay, it's not bullcrap. It's not, I would. Li I can live with that. Um, so just just stop doing this AP stuff, Cog. It's not it's not a good idea, or at least do something something about this crap, and especially the critical strike thing. That is something that should never have happened to this game. It is if I were to pick one mistake in the entirety of the history of Grand Chase, of, I mean, there's a lot of things I didn't like, but if I were to pick one thing I hated the most, it's adding crits to the game. That was that is just it's so not appropriate. All right. Well, bottom line is, after you get by all of the AP re crap, the, all the restrictions, he's actually kind of fun to play. I can't say anything about balance yet until I try him in the game and until I fight them. But I mean, it, we'll just have to wait and see. I just wish they would stop doing this AP stuff. Really, really do. So, um, I'll probably get, I'll probably buy the character anyways. I'll probably cash him because I'm a lazy lazy uh dungeoner which is to say i don't dungeon ever um i still don't even know how my lsc sent it up over 70 must have been like really drunk or something uh, anyway so there will probably be some gameplay vids of him once i unlock him and level him a little bit so we'll look forward to that and i'll probably have a much more uh detailed verdict then all right that's it